What's going on guys? My name is Brandon and today we've got a quick repair video to do. I know you guys like repair videos and a buddy of mine has a plow and it has a bolt that's broken off on one of the components. So I told him to bring it by. I think what we're going to try to do is maybe like weld a nut to that stud and see if we can work it out. But I don't know until I see it so stick around. Boss XT. No, I don't think so. You're way off. Way off? Oh my god. Holy. Do we need to get a high school boy to do this? <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. See, these plows have come a long ways back from when I used to have one. The old first days of crawling on the ground are over. First thing you gotta do is put your remote in, in <laughs> float mode. <laughs> float mode? Float mode. Turn your remote on and put that in float mode. And hook these up. But when do you lay down in the dirt and snow? You don't have to anymore. <laughs> See, that's the part I always miss. And you make sure these are little levers here yeah. are in, in lock mode then you hit this little jeweler for here yeah. now what's that do? so that's it? it's ready to go? no it's not lined up because the driveway is not level that's surprising oh, yeah that's it's, it that's it it's all on all right make sure these things are secure Lift her up. Let's Lift, see if it works. Sure work. Yeah, make, make sure, work. make sure the uh, plow doesn't fall off. Oh yeah. Well there. Wow. There you go. Just like that. All right. So that right there is the bolt that snapped off. Let me see it. Yeah, kind of, I guess. All right. All right. Think she'll come out? I hope so. That's how they do it in the big city right in here. The big city? You don't have it out yet. Don't get too cocky. <laughs> Someone should make like a, a tool that you have like a ratchet and a socket or something. I have a wrench. It's a socket like that. Do you? Yeah. Me too. Get that. Where do you get the bill for this? The bill? The bill. You're going to have to plow my driveway for the rest of the year for this. I'm going to plow it today, but it's not done. <laughs> so what, what do you got to put in here for a bolt? Uh, How long is this thing? I'll show you. Is it like six inches long? Use your fingers. Let me go get a little speed wrench. Man, that must have had a lot of force to shear that off. I don't know that. why it would shear that off. Crazy, huh? Because all it does is hold this wedge in there. Almost there. Reuse that. I just yeah. made a bolt for you. You yeah. should save that. Should. Where does that one go? Well, you got a new one? Yeah. You bought, all bought new? it as a kit. It came as a kit. So how does this go? 
goes under this piece. And it's going to tip it up, is the problem. Just bring it down, isn't it? Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Okay, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Okay, yeah. And this yep. little doodad goes in there. Okay. Somewhere. I don't know where exactly. I do. I do. I can put it in my garage and. Uh... It's probably for different models, I'm guessing. That's why it's LA. Because they wanted, Mr. You said you had to take these springs off. Oh, really? Take yeah. Th like this thing move out of the way. I'm like, eh. Yeah, they wanted to do it the hard way. Right. They we worked smarter, not harder. They wanted long sorry. dollar. Yeah. There. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, that went wicked easy. And now you got a free bolt in the process. Yeah. Yeah, Christ, you could have screwed that up one back. Yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to slow down the speed of the plow, what would I do? I'm going down onto the ground? Yeah. Get this little nut over here. You're going to loosen that up. This little nut there over here. Yeah. And then that one right in there. You just turn that, I believe it's clockwise, and half turn it, it'll slow the. That's pretty speed cool. Down. But I always like to put the plow down so it makes a big crashing sound. Yeah, if you're in the city, it's great to do that. It's everybody else. <laughs> that's it. And that's all there is to it, guys. It was a pretty simple fix. The only other alternative would have been is you could have drilled it out and then used an easy out. But then, you know, I don't know if you remember, you saw that plate on top that had all those springs. You would have to take a bunch of stuff apart. So doing it that way was super easy because then it just allowed us to weld it on and then we could just unscrew it you could see how tight of an area that was i could barely get a turn on the wrench but that's all there is to it guys i want to thank you for watching thank you guys for tuning in if you're wondering what i'm working on before it makes it up to youtube you guys can catch me on facebook and on instagram new videos every week guys until then take care stay safe like comment subscribe bye